One little thing that's kind of a nice pointer about the leather especially is because it's dark on top and it's light colored on the bottom where they've done the backing, when you cut this, a lot of times people are unhappy because along the edges they feel like you can see that white coming up. Um, and I've heard people talk about using markers and things of that nature to cover that up. But when you're trimming, if you pay attention to your scissors and the blades that are on them, they all have an edge that comes down at an angle. So this comes down at an angle, it's not straight, and it's coming down towards the back. So these ductile applique scissors make wonderful scissors for trimming appliques. These are a smaller version. Um, I kind of like these sometimes when I'm getting into tight, tiny little places. Um, but again, the same thing. We have an angled blade, which all scissors do. But if you're making sure that that angle is going at the right direction, you won't get a cut that's gonna show you the white. So if I cut when I'm trimming so that my duck bill is on the top and I cut my piece, the piece that's left over looks nice and blue. If I cut where my duck bill is on the, on the bottom half, the angle at which that cut is going to be is going to show that white edge a little bit more. So I like to, you know, kind of play with my scissors, see which ones I like best for things, but you can get a nice even smooth cut without showing that white just by the angle at which you are using your scissors, your trimming. So if you have a little scrap piece of leather, hang on to it, play with it, cut it, see which scissors work best that don't give you such a deep angled cut and you might be much happier with how the trimming of those leather comes out.